My name is Jared. I think you know me by now. Five years ago, we moved from Sulgava as a, an idea and a project and a farm to Sulgava Animal Solutions. It was supposed to be the first cash flow, uh, and it was. It was a step on the rung of this sort of altruistic vision um, carved out in a beautiful way, is my opinion. Um, it was about words written down. Everything then was manifested by writing before it happened. It was a strategy that I, I found such confidence, especially with Sunova, sort of amused for me. Um, I had had success, so I have a lot of confidence. Sometimes I tell her, it isn't a question mark. You don't need to to <laughs> wish that to be. We will do it. You know, some things like that. I'm so confident with her. And this project in Sulgava, it's always been about that. The clothing project. Listen, guys, I would have called it inspired teas if it wasn't supposed to be connected to the dream. Uh, I thought upon the creation, it would sort of be the two of us. And uh, I, I, I made posts, Savanishka, the horse, and Cadillac. They were going to be brand ambassadors with sketches. And at least one of the major categories would be the farm to help capitalize. Now, then she wasn't ready. I was one year ago. Um, we met, our story has uh, been shared. There's a blog called The Birth, The Growth, and The Dream, which may be the most prophetic theme I've ever read. I'm not saying that I've written, that I've ever read. Why? The specifics that I put down on September 9th, 2012. Um, we had bought the domain Sulgave Farm. I had three months worth of research that I had done and we had looked in together. We'd started building the site, made some flyers. We had a contract with Halden. Uh, to go, uh, we had a visit home girl here, and we were letting horses in and out, but the idea was to get it in touch with, well, the same sort of things we're talking about now. Organizations, schools, um, to use the animals and the nature. Um, uh, so fast forward a bit. We decided to go to the United States to do Sogave Animal Solutions. Started researching that five years ago today. It was eight months of what we call research and development that precedes a company launch. You know, website creation, logo, building your culture, defining your culture. Um, the research gives you price points here. I went Portland to New York and Little Rock up to Madison, Wisconsin and everything in between. The best of the best. And then you, you assimilate what feels intuitively right to you, what your market need. And we landed with a great uh, brand and no idea what pet sitting was. And we had some, uh, I love the story because it's uh, one I would share with others to not give up. I think I'd have to look back, but I, I say 16 a lot, 16 services that didn't work. We love the dog, um, sort of this uh, uh, pet consulting. It was so fun, but nobody was buying it. And so you got to go to what they're buying and pet sitting and dog walking and ultimately professional house sitting was the core crux of that. We got to refine that through a professional competition. Okay, the last decision that my wife and I made together was the decision to move back here. She wasn't ready a year ago. I wasn't ready in 2014 emotionally. She wasn't ready by feel. Uh, I had my personal struggles, guys. I have had a, a, a major dependency on anxiety medication that only uh, recently have I really had uh, intense clarity and retrospective to be able to talk about. So when I landed I, like a horse called Rowan, I was a bit of a poster child for hopefully how nature and animals can help heal the human spirit. I was changing massively. Well, throw in moving across the world and the hustle of getting a business up and uh, uh, still had prescribed, prescribed anxiety medication, right? That creates a, a constant battle within yourself to try to stay equal. Very hard to keep your weight managed because prescribed medications like that retain in your, your uh, water and, and in the fat. You don't metabolize things correctly. Right now I'm 184 pounds and I, uh, and I can, you know, I should be a bit fitter, but hell, <laughs> if we're talking pounds, I've been 60 pounds heavier. I used to comfortably be 205 and two, to 220. That was my fit weight, right? 
but I had a medicine that I didn't even really consider. It was just I prescribed. It was just part of my like vitamins, guys. I didn't I didn't know how to get off of it, and I felt I needed it, like somebody taking an antidepressant. Um, that's how I felt about it, and uh, you know, from my perspective, then it, it made me uh, better. It gave me the confidence also, but I couldn't get away from it from physical. Uh, tremors and stuff like that. It was a major addiction. It's the only thing I've ever been truly addicted to. But uh, I know what it's like to struggle with sugar, technological devices. Addiction, as Gabor Mate would say, is, uh, well, it's emotion based. <laughs> it's uh, not handling our emotions. So when I started becoming more attuned to my own emotional fitness, I uh, started seeing everything from the right angle. This project, Solgava. This clothing project, again, was supposed to piggyback off that. Sooner than I, a uh, binder of life. Uh, you, you guys in the United States know because we were talking about it at the very beginning of 2014. Initiatives were set up to keep it in the consciousness. We had a nonprofit second chance project that was going to go underway. But uh, we diverted our focus to coming back here. And again, she wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Um, I had a relapse that it was public. Uh, knowledge. Um, I was just, it was a tough time for me. I was losing a lot of identities when we landed here so quickly. I think we, our business had just got us to the point we were financially independent. Uh, it was paying all our bills, you know, we couldn't get a hundred dollars a month from the government to help with food uh, where you can, if until you know, until you hit certain revenue points, profit points. So, we had made that much. Uh, we made it to that point, and we were very early in the game. We had, it was a com combination of what I love doing, the culture and the, the experiences of the people through the pack walks, which were selling our services and, and building trust and connections. We'll do the same thing here through some open houses type concepts and through optics and through video. We will bring this narrative back into light. My passion for this project is very personal, okay? I wanted to, to be a life coach in a way at, as early as 2007. Um, that was brought into my attention, but uh, I wasn't ready, clearly. To be able to, to reach people of all types, you've got to uh, have a lot of things going for you. But for myself, um, I needed to be free. I needed to be free. I needed to work on my strengthening my will and my emotional fitness. So and now the sun's almost like, it's, oh my God, this 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 brand, this dream is is divine. I've always said it, and it's not cliche to me. This isn't a hobby. This was always supposed to pay all our bills, and I'll fight hard for it every second of the day. Now, most of my mental thoughts, people, even I was helping a Norwegian company, Balder, and volunteering and helping. They can see, they could see, and we talked about it and laughed about it a bit, but my mind has been on this project most hours of the day. Um, it's come through Vipassana retreats where I've been in silent meditation. It is what comes through my family and, and myself and holistic healing and uh, recognizing my own wounds and, and not being afraid of my own power. My wife and I are an incredible team. I could spend 15 minutes and give you evidence of why we are not, why we're a horrible team. But I could give you as much or more on, on why we are. Um, what we focus on is what, what, what evolves. Tony Robbins says, make things not worse than they are today. Look at what is and make sure you have a vision for a better tomorrow. Whether you're a company or a couple or a country, that's how leaders get people out of tough times. Uh, the housing collapse, the Great Depression, um, all things like that. Guys... As I said, this project is deeply personal to me, helping children that have had a tough go or at-risk youth or even just creating experiences where children smile or their parents smile because of time with this amazing set of alpacas coming or the new horses or the horses that exist, taking guided tours on these nature trails. This is a model that exists. I have somewhere a binder of information and data. You saw our cover photos and you know probably a few of you I'll share this I'll put this on the YouTube channel and share it on the clothing page for now but 
trust that all the people are back in place, okay? My wife and I have had a journey that meant trust was broken. Even in the last year, I went to the United States to do this clothing project. My heart wasn't into it yet because it, was miss it wasn't tied to the dream. I should have called it inspired tease and gone off on my own, but I, in my heart, I always knew that Sogave clothing was supposed to be an extension, a global extension, like our online store will be, <laughs> tied to the farm store. Just wait. Her mother is in retirement, and it's going to be a, a great uh, uh, part. She's he here and retired and has a lot of interest. I think we'll have a unique farm shop with some uh, networking with other farms and amazing jams and uh, uh, baked goods and we'll fill in the gaps with retail products that fit within the brand uh, narrative and the, and the energy from organic eggs and the alpaca stuff and then we'll have a, a web shop I'm manifesting <laughs> um, and, and a Sogave clothing will be there and it'll be very uh, honed and it'll make sense and it'll be a, a, an extension of our alpacas and our, our family and our, our children in this, in this dream. You're not gonna, listen, lives are gonna be changed on this lookout point. Sooner than I once said that we were gonna one day help couples in workshops. Like, can you imagine? I've faced divorce with her. Um, it's been a very touch and go thing. We have some probably close friends and family like, what the heck? Uh, I, I, for one, if I were talking to other couples, I would say the only ones that should understand your situation are yourselves. Um, Sunova, as such a sensitive healer and mystic, mystic uh, energy worker, she's an animal communicator, incredible. So sensitive that if I'm slightly out of balance, she runs, okay? Some of the time she didn't know why she ran, but I do. Does that make sense? That is, uh... Now, a year ago when I was here, I was ready, she wasn't. I was very healthy and ready. My struggles I've not hid from. I, I don't think that you can, uh, I just don't like keeping things in the shadows because this journey has been about honesty and authenticity. And now finally, for fuck's sake, man, you know, all of those strange decisions I've made and her, think makes sense. We'll see if the manifestations, um, everything we decided to do and made a decision, we've done. She said we're going to move to a larger house from our apartment after just having the business going three months. She, by Christmas, it was four months. And we did. We did. We grew that fast. And then uh, we faced in the winter, your dog walking uh, dies down and people with trim costs. So we had to help, held workshops, um, paid all our bills. Um, so, you know, you got to be creative and you got to, you got to need to see number targets and that this is your, your dream. And, and I, that's how for us it is. This isn't a hobby and we're not, we don't have any additional sources of income. Our desire is to make this always has been, um, we've done it already. So, so Gavi Animal Solutions was sold. Uh, they've chosen to keep the name because, uh, the brand integrity to them, I suspect, was uh, high. We had all the things in place, the booking system, the, the graphics, and the, it was a turnkey business, we call it. You take it over and it's profitable the day you take it over and very easy to build up. I'm really proud of that. And it doesn't mean that all the things you did while there are your personal struggles. You have to be able to peel those away. And in this case, since you're trying to talk about mending and healing and, and team building and trust, Guys, there's going to be ropes courses that I'm involved with. I don't know if they'll be here, but they're going to be close. Five low rope elements. There's going to be bees. I've done rope courses many times on the treatment side and on a professional side. And there isn't any uh, in the area. This is a, one of the most spectacular um, areas in the world, man. I love my outside perspective because I don't have any bias. This is... The fjord there, 500 meters. You see the lookout point where we got married. Just up there is the intercoastal trail. This is going to be home to crazy alpacas right here. You know, this is, uh, um, this is my chance to fill in some gaps. And to explain why my clothing project, the site may not even be up when I say this. I, I, 
I've been volunteering at a place called Baldwin, so while we assessed things, and I knew everything that I would learn would help here. I've worked with bees, permaculture garden, I've been around, these are Norwegian entrepreneurs that have a shop in my Austria, and I've helped them before. They knew I was, uh, <laughs> the whole time I was there, they're like, why aren't you doing what you're doing for us there? <laughs> We had to, we had some nuances to work out, guys. I think anybody watching this knows sooner than myself. Uh, there's been what I would call a push pull, and uh, I love her with all my heart. She, you know, I'm not afraid to say it. Hell, we've <laughs> we've been there, done that, and uh, still here. My loyalty to her is uh, intense. So I decided never to leave again, and uh, uh, thought about it, came close. But uh, I knew it wasn't right. I've always known intuitively that this was going to realign, but hell, she's, <laughs> she's sometimes been hard to read. Um, she's now down with the alpacas, and uh, I'm gonna get a blog up. At least friends and family and a few people in the clothing project will see this. I'll put a teaser in my Instagram accounts. I'm manifesting the things that we've seen for five years, a farm shop, an extension of that that's online. Now there's a clothing project that can be tied to it. It needs a lot of finessing and honing because it's finally going to be tied to the right thing. And these horses and the nature here, um, hospitals, treatment centers, schools, workshops, class structure, uh, certain days of the week, certain uh, people can, can come. There'll be a certain number of slots. Um, yeah, we'll have some interesting events, some open houses per se that I've already talked about. I'm a bit late coming back in sort of in this uh, little chapter, but I'm not. Does that make sense? Of course. My wife and I have, uh, this is a, a very real dream for us and uh, has been for a long time. Again, all the people in the United States know that. That's why we left. and. We talked about it all along, and it sort of helped drive our animal care business. We just wanted that to, to teach and to learn and to, do, to develop the brand. All calculated steps upon a ladder. And right now, the broken trust and the distance and the fractured uh, elements within, uh, let's just say, our relationship 